Hi, my name is John Methven. I'm uh, a member of the uh, National Vietnam Veterans Museum in, in Australia. It's based on Phillip Island down in Victoria. And our aim is not to talk so much about war, but about the Australians during that time. We have a segment on it that deals with the various battalions that served in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. And this particular picture that I'm uh, standing in front of here at the moment is a picture taken from uh, 2nd Battalion of the Royal Australian Regiment who was serving in Vietnam during uh, 1967. And it's a very relaxed picture, but it's one that I can't look at without really feeling very emotional. In the picture, you'll see that there are three Australians just standing together. They're having their photo taken, actually, by the fourth guy. You'll notice there are four rifles down here. The fourth rifle belonged to the guy taking this particular photo. The guys had been on patrol for about a week, and they'd come back into base camp, and then the next morning, they were asked to step outside the wire while there was a firepower demonstration done of helicopters showing uh, the firepower that they could have. This particular picture, within 30 seconds of the picture being clicked, you had the incredible situation of the guy on the left there, uh, Dennis, a rocket had gone astray from the chopper. It tumbled down amongst the group of Australians that are there, and the guy on the left lost a, a leg and a, a foot. The one in the middle, he received bad shrapnel wounds, and Stan on the right there was killed outright from the uh, terrible tragedy of it. A number of the guys behind were also badly wounded. Ended up that there were three that were actually killed in this particular friendly fire incident and 14 were badly wounded. The reason it gets at me so much is that it just shows just how fragile life could be in a war-torn country. These guys were happy, they'd done their job, they'd come in and they were relaxing, just uh, keeping an eye open while they're waiting for this demonstration. It really does bring to light just how fragile life can be. Every time I look at it, and I think such wonderful guys, and next second they're gone. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them.